hello everyone welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to talk about one-to-one -one functions we are going to learn how to prove whether a given function is one-to-one -one or not a function is said to be one-to-one -one if different elements in the domain have distinct values in the codomain let's consider these two diagrams for diagram a we realize that 10 maps to 1 20 maps to 2 and then 30 maps to 3 However, for diagram B, it is clear that 10 and 30 maps to 3, and then 20 maps to 1. Since we have elements in the domain corresponding to distinct values in the codomain for diagram A, it makes the function 1 to 1. So diagram A is 1 to 1, while diagram B is not 1 to 1. This can be expressed mathematically as f of A is equal to f of B where A is equal to B. So let's solve some examples. How do we prove that the function f of x, which is equal to 1 over x plus 2, where x is not equal to 2, is 1 to 1. Now to solve this problem, we need to equate f of A to f of B. Now, f of a means that wherever you see x in f of x, you replace it with a. And for f of b, wherever you see x, we replace it with b. So for f of a, it's going to be 1 over a plus 2. And then f of b is 1 over b plus 2. So f of a is equal to f of b. Is going to be 1 over a plus 2 is equal to 1 over b plus 2. Now let's cross multiply. So we are going to have 1 into bracket b plus 2 is equal to 1 into bracket a plus 2. Now 1 times b is b and then 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times a is a and 1 times 2 is 2. So we have b plus 2 is equal to a plus 2. So we can transpose these two to the right hand side. So it's going to be b is equal to a plus 2 minus 2. And then a plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So it's going to be a is equal to B. Now, since A is equal to B, it follows that the function is 1 to 1. Let's solve another example. So, if you have a function, say, f of x is equal to 1 over x squared plus 3. How do you solve it? Is this function 1 to 1 or not? Straight away, we need to equate f of a to f of b. Now, f of a is going to be 1 over a squared plus 3. And then f of b is 1 over b squared plus 3. Let's cross multiply. We are going to have b squared plus 3 is equal to a squared plus 3 after we cross multiply. Because we have 3 and then 3 here, we can cancel out the 3. And then we have b squared is equal to a squared. To do away with the exponent, we need to introduce square roots. So we are going to have the square root of b squared to be equal to the square root of a squared. The square root of b squared, which is equal to the square root of a squared, is the same as having square root of a squared is equal to square root of b squared. The squared cancel the square root, and then we have a is equal to the square root of b squared, which is equal to plus or minus b. Now what this primarily means is that 
at some point in time a is equal to b and another point in time a is equal to negative b so since a is not equal to b at all times the function is not one to one let's solve this how do we prove that the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 divided by x squared where x is greater than 0 is 1 to 1 so we know that f of a is equal to f of b and then f of a is a squared minus 9 divided by a squared which is equal to b squared minus 9 divided by b squared so we cross multiply now we are going to have a squared into bracket b squared minus 9 which is equal to b squared into bracket a squared minus 9 so we multiply across a squared times b squared is a squared b squared minus 9 times a squared is 9 a squared b squared times a squared is a squared b squared and then 9 times b squared is 9 b squared a squared b squared cancels a squared b squared and then we have negative 9 a squared is equal to negative 9 b squared we can divide both sides of the equation by negative 9 negative 9 and then we have a squared is equal to b squared to do away with the exponent we introduce square root so it's going to be a is equal to or the square root of a squared is equal to the square root of b squared and then a is going to be plus or minus b so we are going to have a to be equal to b and a to be equal to negative b now because x was greater than zero it means that we are dealing with positive numbers so this we are not going to consider this so we are only going to consider a is equal to b because we require positive numbers so since a is equal to b then the function is one to one let's try this together let's say if we have a function f of x is equal to x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 is this function 1 to 1 or not let's see so f of a is equal to f of b and then we have a minus 2 divided by a plus 1 is equal to b minus 2 divided by b plus 1 now let's cross multiply so we are going to have a minus 2 times b plus 1 which is equal to a plus 1 times b minus 2 now a times b is a b and then negative 2 times b is negative 2 b a times 1 is a and then negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 a times b is a b and then a times negative 2 is negative 2 a 1 times b is b and then 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 now we have a b here we have a b here we have negative 2 here and then negative 2 so we cancel them out and then we have negative 2 b plus a and then negative 2 a plus b so we had negative 2 b plus a to be equal to negative 2 a plus b so we can group like things we will transpose a to the right hand side and then b to the left hand side so that we have negative 2 b minus b is equal to negative 2a 
minus a negative 2b minus b is negative 3b and then it's equal to negative 2a minus a is negative 3a we divide both sides of the equation by negative 3 and then we have b to be equal to a or in other words a is equal to b and then since we have a is equal to b the function is 1 to 1